Alright guys, Mr. Program Reviewer here today with um, kind of a video tutorial on how to use the Windows Ready Boost. Um, as you can see, I'm doing this in Windows 7. Um, I, I also believe that it is available through Vista, but I'm not sure about XP. Um, I know there's ways to do basically the same thing in XP, but I'm not sure how to do it because I've never tried it. So, um, as you can see, here's my desktop right now. Um, I have a CPU meter over here which also calculates RAM. So it kind of, you know, varies from around 45 to, like right now it's around 50. It's getting a little above 50, so there it went to 47. So it's pretty much bouncing around within that range. Like when I start opening like, you know, three or four tabs in Firefox, then it gets up to like 70. Um, I've actually noticed um, this, like, I don't know what's wrong with these meters because sometimes they show accurately and sometimes they don't. Because as you can see, like right here, it'll all of a sudden go from 47 to like 74 and then back down and then you get the idea. So, um, mostly when I have the Ready Boost um, activated, it mostly stays at around 48 with within like 48 to 55. Like all the time. So that's a pretty good plus about it. So, um, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to insert a flash drive or an SD card or any kind of um, external storage. Um, this comes up because I have a SanDisk flash drive so I forgot to delete U3 which is just a stupid little thing that they include. But anyways most of you will get the autoplay box right here. You just want to say speed up my system with Windows Ready Boost. And then when you get there, here is the properties of the flash drive or SD card or whatever. As you can see, here's a whole bunch of different stuff. And there's a Ready Boost tab. Right now, I am not using this device at all for Ready Boost. You can dedicate the device. And when what that means is that Ready Boost will use all of the memory that it possibly can from your flash drive or whatever, from your storage that it can. Um, and for some people that only like to use some with Ready Boost, you can say use this device and then you can pretty much calculate how much um, memory you want to use but I want to just dedicate um, pretty much this flash drive to ready boost so I'm just gonna um, yeah click in that and then I'm going to press apply and it has to configure it has to configure it and it doesn't take very long as you can see so um, as you can see well right here the maximum amount of room that it can possibly use for ready boost is 4 gigs so um, I don't know if that'll eventually upgrade within the time but I'm not sure but at the moment it's only 4 gigs that it can possibly use to make your system faster so I'm just gonna hit OK and as you can see right now my CPU meter staying pretty low um, it's not flying around too much like it was you know up to like 60 or 70 sometimes even 80 so um I'm just going to go ahead and open Firefox. See what that does to it. So, I'm just going to drag this over here. And as you can see, what well, it's st still staying at around 50. So, if I want to go to YouTube and watch a video, let's see. Let me type in Modern Warfare 2. So, as you can see over here, it's still at 50. So, let me just watch this random video. So, as you can see right now, the video is still loading and everything. And, um, video is still loading and everything. And it's still staying at around 50 and everything. So, um, that's pretty cool. So, that's how you do it in Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it's darn near the same in, uh, Windows Vista. But, um, I'm not exactly sure about XP. I know there's a way to do it, but I'm just not sure how. See, as you can see, once the video actually starts, let's see, once the video actually starts, it starts going a little bit past 50. Like 54 to 55. Right now it's staying pretty good, though. So yeah, that's how you do the Ready Boost. And let's just say that you don't, that you no longer want to use this device with Ready Boost. You just go to my computer, and then see there's the device right there so I just want to right click on it go to properties and then as you can see once again there's all these tabs just go to ready boost say do not use this device 
and then press apply and then there you're no longer using the device as you can see here um, the flash drive is completely free of anything so yeah um, that's how you do the ready boost thing as you can see um, on my computer it actually works on some it doesn't I don't know why but still um, so that's how you do the ready boost thing uh, this was a mister program reviewer production rate comment subscribe thanks for watching